Good morning. I'm going to talk about uh, digital transformation of municipalities in Spain. Uh, internet and digital technologies are changing in our lives in many aspects. Uh, we are in a deep uh, change of society and uh, governments have to give a complete answer to all the challenges and opportunities that, that this context uh, bring to us. An effective e-government can provide citizens, enterprises and organizations to carry out their business with government more efficiently at a lower cost and with increased transparency. But e-government involves much more than just using tools. It also involves organizational changes, training European citizens in digital skills and the involvement of public authorities. In this context, uh, it arises uh, new obligations for public authorities and new rights for citizens with a new legislation. However, bringing a government to a distributed population with small municipalities is not easy. Spain is the most decentralized country in the world. We have 70 regions made up of, prov of provinces and we have 50 provinces. Each province has uh, municipalities. Provinces have their own governing body. Uh, the governing body in province of Coruña uh, give their municipalities an e-government solution that allows using uh, common resources to have e-government saving cost, efforts and time. Our challenge was to promote e-government development in 92 municipalities. Provincial Council of Coruña makes the digital transformation available by offering this platform to all its municipalities and provides tools for complying with e-government regulations. This, regulation, this uh, solution has uh, some benefits from three points of view. First, for citizens, because it promotes the participation of citizens by enabling an electronic channel. Also, uh, we optimize processing by bringing components that, uh, that give us all the life cycle of files. And at last, we promote cooperation. Digital transformation process must be citizen focused. And also municipal leaders have to be the main drivers. The main successful factors were the streamlining of administrative procedures, the suitable change management process, and appropriate high-level support. We have a contract performance that was divided in several stages. In the first stage, we uh, have a multi-entity pilot that allows a uh, to bring e-government to several municipalities using the same servers. Then, in stage two, we were adding on municipalities and new services for citizens and administration. Now, in 2019, we have almost one million electronic documents, more than 200 administrative procedures, and more than 2,100 users. This architecture promotes cooperation and interoperability amongst public administration, uh, reusing data for offering public services and implementing the only one principle that allows citizens not to be required to provide documents that are already in the health of public administrations. The use of ICT systems for security information exchange allows also a, an interchange of data more easy for municipalities. We have to adapt also the process to the current digital reality by the streamlining and simplification of administrative procedures, training and involving the participants. All this is deployed in a common infrastructure saving that, that supposes significant savings in implement, implementation. So now uh, we achieve our, our goal and we complete e-government development in all municipalities. 
and we can comply with the new obligations of public and rights of the citizens, bringing us transparency, efficiency, and savings. We are now on the stage three of our contract. This, this um, stage is complete in 2020, and it consists in adding to and consolidating services and installation, uh, reaching the 100% uh, implementation and consolidation. The main benefits for governments using this solution is cost saving, shorter deadline lines, efficiency, using interoperability to, to, to bring cooperation between different governments, and also this solution can be adaptable to the needs of the municipalities, and we can comply with regulation. For citizens, we have a new communication channel that promotes participation and bring us a channel that is quickly and easy and allows saving money and efforts. Thank you.